Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome to Giga Texas. It's a pretty cold Monday, the 30th of January, 2023. And as you can see here, there's a winter storm coming through this area. So I tried to get an early flight and try to beat out the uh, high winds and the rain and all of the ice. So it's kind of a interesting video this morning. We do get some uh, night shots around the east and the south side. We also get a chance, as you can see here, to see some very interesting changes at that west main entrance. But uh, otherwise, it's a pretty abbreviated flight today because of all of the conditions, as you can see behind me. Now, there's another thing I want to talk about. And as you can see here on these images, the last video that I did, we captured some very interesting deliveries and assembly up at the battery cathode plant. And I'm going to cover this in detail on my 31 January or tomorrow video. So make sure you take a look at that. But it's very interesting and it has a lot of implications for the building of the uh, cathode plant and also how they will be processing some lithium hydroxide. We're having a lot of activity going on here at Giga Texas on an extremely cold day and also with what Sean was saying some opportunities if you want to work here at Giga Texas. So without further ado let's try to get the drone in the air and see what we can do with the flight today. Thank you for your support and have a great week. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high-resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. As I mentioned in the intro, there's a winter storm that is approaching Giga, Texas, and it was just about to hit this morning. So I decided to do a pre-dawn flight uh, trying to beat the weather, and this allowed us to get some of these images on the east side. This is that small parking lot that's used for testing and uh, pre-preparation uh, work until the vehicles are moved over for transportation. Also, this is a good opportunity to attempt to get some views inside from this side of the building, which normally I'm not able to do. And I'm going to try to zoom in. And with the conditions here, it may not be the clearest, but it will give us a chance to see what's going on. Now, the winds are pretty strong, so the drone was difficult to control throughout the time. And so you'll probably see quite a bit of uh, edits and transitions along the way. So I apologize that for that in advance. But here we're looking into the second floor of the body in white. And nearest to the windows, you see quite a bit of these silver wrapped items. These are some of those robotic assemblers. In fact, there's a large number of them. And as we continue to proceed to the south along this side, as we look into these uh, windows, you can see that pretty much every window has these robotic assemblers and some of them are two or three layers deep. I believe that they're using this side and this floor of the body in white as storage until all of these are able to be installed. This is getting a few views inside the stamping machine structure. In fact, you can see one of the large stamping machines that white and red that's installed nearest to the windows. There's three bays here, so it's hard to see all of them, but uh, condition, given the conditions that we have today, I think this is about as good as I was able to provide. Uh, but uh, I will pull back a little bit more towards the southeast and kind of give a reveal of the entire factory and uh, just a good sense of how the entire site looks on an early morning and uh, uh, a lot of... Uh, 
activity, as you can see with all of the lights flashing and uh, a lot of the windows are lit up. And here you can see those two large doors on the south end. That's into the Stamping 2 section. And I'll give you a little bit closer view into that in just a little bit on the uh, video. But uh, as we continue to move towards the southwest corner, you can just get a good view of the cyber pond at the bottom of the screen and how this entire south end looks. Also note all of the flashing lights from the new Model Ys that are uh, being uh, prepared here for movement over to the east side. So let's get down a little bit lower and uh, try to get a little bit of a sense for the activity uh, closer to the uh, ground and the building. As I mentioned, I'll try to give you a little bit better view into Stamping 2. With the conditions and also being dark, I really am not able to get the drone uh, as low as I need to. But uh, you can see in the right-hand side uh, door, there's quite a bit of activity near the door now. They are continuing to finish off the isolation foundation so that they can install more uh, stamping machines and other metal forming machines in that section. And here's a just a good view despite the uh, uh, big lights on of the uh, cars that are exiting the factory and getting checked out and prepared to be moved over. You can actually see through the windows that open section when you can see where some of the cars are in their final preparation before they move outside. And now that we've crossed over that uh, light, uh, the, the image quality will improve quite a bit. Uh, but to uh, continue to move up to the north on this side of the building, and it gives you kind of a sense of how uh, the uh, section here uh, looks in a typical morning. And uh, not only are the Model Ys uh, on the ground, but you can see some of the materials in the second and third floor here on General Assembly. And again, the uh, winds are quite strong, so the drone is really struggling. So you'll note that it's uh, not quite as smooth throughout this video today. Also, the cold is not helping at all. But as we are approaching the West Main entrance, there's some significant changes I do wanna show you. First of all, you can see this temporary covered structure. It's allowing the workers to uh, continue to work despite the rain and the cold. Uh, but it looks like they are working on some sort of a lighted cyber berm. It's kind of raised. And on the left-hand side, you can see uh, the uh, reflection or the, uh, the counterpart as it is also starting to form into a cyber berm and it's making this kind of a V-shaped uh, architectural design on either side of that trapezoidal section. So very interesting. This is also a departure from that rendering we saw at Giga Nevada. So Giga Texas looks like it's definitely going to have its own flavor. Now, as we look inside, you can see how that mezzanine is continuing to take shape and it's kind of got that inverted V shape as well. They've added on triangular sections onto that to remove floor on either side to give it this overall shape. And you can also see quite a bit of work on that ground slab just inside the main doors. So I'm gonna pull away and uh, try to give you an overall view of how this main entrance is starting to change and again you can see those kind of cyber berms uh, moving on either side of that trapezoid in kind of a v shape and it kind of mimics the shape that you see just inside the uh, glass as well so let's uh, turn the drone more towards the north and we'll continue to fly uh, towards the north and take a look at the uh, factory on that end now because again with the conditions I'm not really able to get closer to the building so I'm not going to be able to show you quite a bit of uh, uh, interior views but uh, as we get closer to this corner this is on the third floor where the 4680 battery production cell is in operation on the roof you can get a really good sense of the winds and how strong they are by that uh, vapor that's uh, being blown right out of those uh, vents on the northwest corner of the building. So I'm going to uh, continue to turn the drone around so you can see the entire 
Giga Texas. It will pull up uh, towards the north and give you an overall view of the uh, north end. You'll notice that the cyber berms are lit and it looks like there's two different colors. The reason why some of them are blue is that it's got uh, blue painter's tape on there because they are actually painting the cyber berms white and you can see some of that on the left hand side of the cyber berm. So let's get ready to fly up to the uh, electrical switch yard and take a look at the activity up there on this blustery, very windy and cold morning. now arrived up at the new permanent electrical switch yard and uh, you can get a good uh, sense of uh, how this looks today from this angle and how Giga Texas looks very wintry in the background. But uh, I'll try to bring the drone down a little bit so you can just see some of the uh, uh, state of affairs here at the electrical switch yard. There are some workers um, and I think that they're doing a lot of wiring, it's particularly into those cable tray trenches, but otherwise uh, not a ton of activity here. And I really don't blame them because off and on there's some uh, rain and it's going to be turning into freezing rain a little bit later today. But let's uh, turn ourselves over towards the east and take a look at some of the activity here. In this uh, earthwork section next to that pond, this is where they're installing those blue water pipes that will connect the battery cathode complex to the water main. And also you can see here where they have uh, re, uh, they've relocated this tree and it looks like this may be its permanent location right next to the road and they're preparing to relocate some more of these trees, most likely next to the road as well. So uh, very interesting to see. And we're going to approach up towards the battery cathode plant and also this new structure, which is the dye shop. Fortunately, it's pretty well lit, so you can get an idea of the activity here. Almost all of the footings are completed with the exception of, it looks like, just one on that south perimeter beam. You can also see that the steel superstructure is now the full length on the east side and it's working its way towards the west. And we can also see continued work here in these two sections where there's heavily reinforced uh, concrete and rebar piers for some pretty heavy machinery that's going to be in this west bay of this uh, structure. Over to the left you can see that uh, galvanized steel structure next to the cathode plant getting some more of those uh, pipes installed and some manifold systems. They also are putting in some uh, uh, forms for additional concrete underneath the structure and I've had a Patreon uh, speculate that uh, that may be where some pumps are located in the near future. That'll be something I'll be looking for as uh, the weather improves and as uh, construction continues. But this is up towards the north end of the battery cathode plant giving a good overview of the west side and its activity. And then I'm going to uh, continue over to the east side and uh, we'll take a look at uh, what is going on over here. We see quite a bit of materials uh, being stockpiled on this east side, both on the north side and the south of that large white tent. And uh, I'm going to slowly bring the drone in and take a look inside this very tall opening. This is where the SACME presses have been installed in my previous video. We saw them starting the installation process. And as a reminder, tomorrow on my 31 January video, I'm gonna go in depth about what this uh, company SACME is, what these presses are, and some other information about uh, some uh, machinery that will be installed. But you can see the two presses have been installed into that pit. They've been covered right now because of all the inclement weather. And additional work is being done to the north, as you can see where that man lift is uh, uh, located as well. But uh, it's uh, very uh, interesting to see 
the equipment that's being installed and how it's going to be configured for this factory to be doing the processing for lithium hydroxide and other lithium components. These crates with the uh, black components inside next to the green tent looks like those are not windows but it turns out that they are grates so it'll be interesting to see where those gratings are installed. This particular uh, material staging location continues to have quite a bit of these white and red uh, painted components which are platforms for equipment and in my video tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about what this may be for and again it's pretty exciting to see this equipment arriving. You can also see some steel silver pipes next to that opening that have been delivered more of these blue containers and uh, some additional uh, materials being installed on the south end of that material staging location. So I'm going to turn the drone just to give you a good view of the overall complex from the south looking to the north as it appears today. And then we're going to continue over and see the die shop from this perspective. Again, just to see how the steel structure has grown to its full length on the east side. As you can see, more of the beams for the roof have been installed on most of it. And then a good section has the roof decking installed as well. On the ground next to the cathode plant, you can see this kind of red material in that trench. That is a material that will indicate that this is for electrical conduit in the future in case there's some sort of excavation work. But this is the electrical conduit that will connect this entire complex to the electrical grid, allowing operations uh, to uh, commence once that is completed. So let's go ahead and uh, turn back towards the south. We'll get a quick look at the warehouse on wheels, the emptied uh, temporary parking lot, and it also looks like there's some materials starting to be stored here on the right hand side of the screen. But uh, overall, uh, you can see the activity here on the east side parking lot. Not a lot of cars yet, but it is very early. You can see quite a bit of them arriving. The uh, new car lot is also very busy as well. And on the left hand side of the screen in that parking lot, you can see more of that HDPE pipe that's being fused welded together. That'll eventually be for treated water, most likely to support that cathode plant uh, complex as well. I was trying to get in a little bit closer to show you some of the activity here on the north end, but uh, quite honestly, the uh, conditions were continuing to, to deteriorate to the point where I decided, well, I'm just going to uh, pull back, give you an overall uh, view of the building and uh, the conditions and call it a day for today. I hope that you enjoyed what I was able to get in the video today and all of the interesting uh, inside views and pre-dawn views that we don't normally see. As always, thank you very much for your support and for watching and I hope you have a great rest of the week.